Do cultural differences affect attitudes toward female masturbation? What precautions should be taken to avoid the risk of tears or fissures during anal sex? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, cultural differences can influence attitudes toward female masturbation. Some cultures may be more open and accepting of masturbation as part of sexual health, while others may have more conservative attitudes. To avoid the risk of tears or fissures during anal sex, it's important to start with adequate preparation, including foreplay, using sufficient lubricant and gradual and careful penetration. It's crucial to communicate with your partner about any discomfort or pain and stop if necessary. Cervical sensitivity. Some women experience sensitivity in the cervical area during certain sexual positions, which can cause discomfort or unease if penetration is too deep. Clear head phenomenon. After orgasm, some people experience a sense of mental clarity known as the clear head phenomenon. This may be due to the release of endorphins and stress relief. The coitus interruptus method, involving withdrawing the penis before ejaculation to prevent pregnancy, is one of the least effective contraceptive methods. It is often called the withdrawal method. Common practice in partners of all orientations. Anal sex is not limited to heterosexual relationships. It is practiced and enjoyed by people of all sexual orientations. In certain urban communities in North America, safe and accessible spaces, such as youth centers and mobile clinics, have been created where young people can receive counseling and sexual health services without fear of stigma or discrimination. Confidence. Confidence is a trait that many people find attractive. Women are often drawn to men who demonstrate self-assurance in themselves and their actions. Conscious breathing. Practicing conscious breathing during foreplay can help women relax, increase sensitivity, and connect more deeply with their body and sexual sensations. Continued education. Ongoing education about anatomy, sexual health, and safe practices is key to ensuring healthy and consensual sexual experiences. Control exercises. Control exercises, such as the stop-start technique, can help men learn to delay ejaculation and improve control over their sexual response. Creating a sensual environment. Carefully preparing the environment for foreplay with soft lighting, gentle music, and seductive scents can help create a sensual atmosphere that stimulates all the senses. Cultural differences in sexual expression. The way sexual fantasies and fetishes are expressed varies widely among different cultures. What may be considered taboo in one culture may be accepted or even celebrated in another. Cultural influence. Cultural attitudes toward sex and masculinity can influence the perception of premature ejaculation and men's willingness to seek professional help. Curable and chronic STDs. Some STDs, such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis, are curable with proper treatment, while others, such as HIV and genital herpes, are incurable and require long-term management. Customized positions. Many couples develop their own unique and customized sexual positions, tailored to their bodies, preferences, and levels of intimacy, allowing them to explore their sexuality in a more satisfying and rewarding way. Decorative items. Decorative elements inspired by the Kama Sutra, such as figurines, paintings, and sculptures, are popular for those wishing to incorporate sensuality and erotic art into their home. Different types of orgasm. Some women report different types of orgasms, such as clitoral, vaginal, or G-spot orgasms. The orgasm experience can vary depending on the type and stimulation. Diversity of configurations. There is no one way to have an open relationship. Some couples may choose to have strict rules about who they can have sexual relationships with, while others may allow more freedom and flexibility. Diversity of practices. Human sexuality is incredibly diverse and, in many cases, unique. 
from the most conventional practices to the most alternative, people can find pleasure and satisfaction in very different ways. Respecting sexual diversity is essential. Dolphins are known for their active and versatile sexual behavior. They engage in sex for pleasure, to establish social bonds, and occasionally in homosexual activities. Dual stimulation positions. Some women enjoy positions that stimulate both the clitoris and vagina simultaneously, such as 69 or missionary with manual stimulation. Edging technique. Edging, also known as getting close to the edge, involves stopping stimulation just before reaching orgasm to prolong pleasure and increase the intensity of the climax when finally allowed. Effects on neuroscience. Studies have shown that exposure to pornography can affect brain plasticity and the brain's response to sexual stimuli, altering sexual perception and preferences. Effects on self-esteem. Some people in open relationships report experiencing an increase in self-esteem by feeling desired and valued by multiple partners. However, this may vary depending on the individual and relationship dynamics. Emerging STDs. In addition to well-known STDs such as chlamydia and gonorrhea, new STDs are emerging, such as the Zika virus and lymphogranuloma venarium, LGV, posing additional challenges for public health. Erectile dysfunction and aging. While it is true that erectile dysfunction becomes more common with age, it is not an inevitable result of aging. Many older men continue to have healthy erectile function. Erectile dysfunction and hormone therapy. In some cases, testosterone replacement therapy may improve erectile function in men with low levels of this hormone, especially if erectile dysfunction is related to testosterone deficiency. Erectile dysfunction and prostate surgery. Prostate surgery, especially radical prostatectomy for prostate cancer, can damage the nerves and blood vessels necessary for erection, leading to erectile dysfunction. Erectile dysfunction in women. While primarily associated with men, erectile dysfunction can also affect some women. This refers to difficulty in maintaining clitoral erection. Sexual therapy can be helpful in such cases. Eroticism has been a source of inspiration for artists throughout history. From cave paintings to Renaissance masterpieces, the human body and sexuality have been common themes in art. Ethical production of pornography. Some companies and producers of pornography have adopted ethical practices, such as informed consent, respect for labor rights, and diversity of representation in response to concerns about exploitation and ethics in the industry. Ethics of open relationships. Many people in open relationships follow a set of ethical principles that include honesty, respect, and mutual consent as fundamental pillars of their lifestyle. Evolution of fetishes. Fetishes can evolve over time and may be influenced by personal experiences, changes in a person's life, or exposure to new ideas and stimuli. Some individuals may discover new fetishes throughout their lives, while others may remain consistent in their sexual interests. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.